What's good lads, you know me, I'm Sira. Thanks to Capcom and the generosity of their community managers, I had the wonderful opportunity to get my hands on Monster Hunter Stories 2 a little bit early, so I thought I'd share some research with you all. I'm holding off on blasting through the entire game right now since I'd love to experience it on stream first, twitch.tv forward slash Sira underscore symmetry if you are wondering. Once that's done, we're going to be doing this guide for mid and end game monsters, don't you worry. Right now we're just going to be covering early to mid game monsters. Anyways, a core cool segment of fights in Stories to is learning attack patterns and winning as many head-to-heads as you can. So here's a guide on all of the large monsters in the first two areas that you can fight, with a few bonuses here and there. Note that these will only be large monsters from the demo content to the second area, mild spoilers if you care, but that's about it. As I said before, we'll be doing this for the rest of the monsters in the game, so stay tuned. First of all, Arzaros only uses power attacks. The legs are weak to blunt damage, and the body is weak to both blunt and slash. Anjanath will use speed attacks at first, then power once enraged. It's weak to pierce type damage. Paolumu, that's a tech monster. It's weak to slash and blunt attacks. Once it inflates its air sac, it starts using speed type attacks and becomes weak to piercing damage on the neck pouch. Kulu Yaku, a tech monster, weak to cutting and pierce type damage. If it picks up a rock, it will start using power instead and will only become weak to blunt. Royal Ludroth, a power type. Its head is only weak to pierce damage and the stomach is only weak to slash. Once it enrages, it turns into a tech type. Great Jaggy, this starts out as tech. It's weak to both pierce and cut. It will, however, change to a speed type attack once enraged. It's usually joined by a Jaggy, which is speed type, and a Jagia, which is power type. Velocidrome, will only use speed attacks. It's weak to cutting type damage. When enraged, however, it will start using power attacks. Kurapeko, a bit of an oddity, will mostly do colourless attacks, so skills with no head-to-head -head chance, with the occasional chance to do tech attacks until it enrages. It's weak to blunt on the head and slash on the body. When enraged, however, it will usually go to power attacks. Kutku and Blue Yan Kutku. They're both tech type and only weak to pierce type damage. Once they're enraged, however, they'll perform speed type attacks. Puke Puke will start out as a tech monster, and it will only be weak to cutting on the body. You can use all damage types on the tail. Once it performs either munch or crunch time, it will fill its throat sack and start using power attacks. In this state, the head becomes weak to blunt attacks. Now there's a Tigrex, a royal monster found in the second area. This starts out as speed type. It's only weak to slash on the head, and the arms are weak to everything, but once enraged, it will switch to power attacks and start attacking twice per turn. Very, very scary that you find in the second area, so be careful. You also find Bizarios. It's a tech monster and has four zones to target. The head and the body will be weak to blunt, and the tail is weak to slash, and the wings are weak to pierce. When the body breaks, it becomes weak to all damage types. Once Bizarios enrages, it'll start using power attacks. Tetsukabra. Pretty simple. It's a power monster and it's weak to piercing type. I've seen in the notes that it will pick up a rock, so its attacks and uh, zones may change, but keep an eye out for that as well. Finally, Yan Garuga. This is a tech monster. The head and tail are both weak to slash damage, and when enraged it will change to power type. Watch out for its colourless attack that inflicts noxious poison. And that's that! I hope that this short guide will help you out when you're starting to go through Stories 2 for the first time, and if you've got any further questions, just pop them in the comments down below. Come see me play this on stream sometime, and I'll see you all in the next video.